Yes. How are you? So you can see for yourself. Um, this is the new house. We bought it just last May and uh, instead of leaving it empty, I thought we should occupy it until you come. Good. It's a big place. Mm -hmm. Business must be doing very well then. Well, God has been faithful. Amen. Um, the, where's everybody? I'm dying to see Auntie Stella. Uh, they must be inside. Uh -huh. Look at it, Kenna! Ah, Yes! Look at it, Dread! Dread, look at you. Welcome. You're looking so good. Thank you. Please get the things on the boat, okay? Ah! You came Oh, boy. Auntie Uju. Good You're welcome. Good to see you, Auntie. Good to see you, too. <laughs> Mm. You're welcome. Auntie Stella. You're welcome. Good afternoon. How was your flight? It's okay. Thank you very much. You give me more. Did you miss me? Give me this. Give me this. Yes. <laughs> Um, Lee, I have rested enough. What I'd like to do tomorrow is to pick up some money, then get a car, get to the village and see some of our old folks, and also see Adobe's parents so that uh, we could uh, finalize on the marriage issue. Why don't you take your time? What's the rush? Oh, well, I don't have much time to spend. Um, lectures are resuming in about a month's time. And you and I know too that the, the more I stay out of work, the more I lose. So I would like to get uh, the money that I sent to you last week. So that could uh, buy the car and uh, buy some few things. Why do you need to buy a car? We have two cars in the house. Mm -hmm. You can pick any of them and uh, put that money to better use. I know. You know, but the truth about it is that that's what the money was saved for anyway. Moreover, if I buy the car today, I will need to buy another one when I come into the country, tomorrow or next, or whenever I come again. Also, I like to get to the market so that I could uh, pick up some few things for the people in the village, and especially for Adobe and her parents. So, how much do you need? Um... Aside that of the car, I think I'll uh, need uh, I'll need another three hundred thousand naira. Do we still have that kind of money? <clears throat> um, Obo. Auntie. I don't think that kind of money is available right now. I don't understand. They have about the one that I give to you when I came in yesterday. Um, it's there. That one is there. So what money are we talking about? What I'm, what I'm trying to say is this. I think it's, um, it's unwise for you to start spending money recklessly. So you will use one of the cars in the house here. Um, whatever money you need to buy things for people in the village, I'll give it to you. But I just happen to think that um, you, you should save up most of the money you, you came with. You have a whole life ahead of you. You have a woman that you're bringing in. And besides, most of the money you sent, we invested. I don't understand. Um. Obo, you have been away from town for too long, so you won't understand. You see, people no longer put their money in the banks, you know, because of the way the banks close up here and there. Um, you invest your money rather than put it in the bank. Are you saying you invested all I sent, all the money I sent? Yes. If I may ask, in what? How? Um, well, 
the pharmacy. Uh, the, the pharmacy. We 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 expanded the pharmacy. Yes. The pharmacy. The house. You know this house. Um, you know. Yes, but before you start getting angry, let me show you what we're doing. Let's go. Go to where? It's better for you to see things yourself. I don't like the way things are sounding. Oh, boy. Why don't you just go with him? Huh? Go with him. Okay. Just hang on, I'll pick up my shoes. Asking after all the money he sent. And you told him you invested much for the money. You told him that. So what are you worrying about? <sighs> Look, he doesn't have that kind of time to start investigating anything. If he needs money to do anything, give him from the one he came with. He will think it is part of the one he sent before now. Sister. Listen to me. Your husband and his people are under us. There is nothing they can do. <laughs> so what else is bothering you? Eh? Are you the one spending the money? Mm -mm. Did you receive any money from a bonna? No. Eliezer is simply spending his brother's money the way he did fit. Simple. So don't bother yourself. Good. <laughs> Sister, what would I do without you? I said, chill. I'm here. <laughs> Pharmacy. I had to close down the one you were running before and then open this one. It's part of the investments and development we've been making. But hey, you never mentioned this to me. It just skipped my mind. But let's go inside. It's a, it's a very big place. Come and see. Yeah, you're welcome. Good evening, sir. Good evening, cousin. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Sit down. Thank you, sir. You see, see how big it is? We have a lot of things here which we didn't have in the former place. What do you think? Well, let's, let's go and see the house. The house is even bigger. Is it? It's even more impressive. Let's go. Come on. They are not interested in any house. I'm not interested. How could you have used the money I sent to you to build a house for yourself, buy cars, and even develop your pharmaceutical shop? Obona, you are getting it all wrong. Calm down. No, I'm not coming down there. I'm not getting anything wrong. I said you're getting it all wrong. I didn't buy any cars for myself. The cars I bought were for you. The house I built was for you. This pharmacy that I opened up is because you and I have to grow. So there's no need for you to get angry here. Okay, I'd like to go to the village tomorrow. Can I get the money I asked for? Of course. Let's go to the house first. Good to see you. I missed 
you. Me too, I missed you so much. Good to see you. How about Mama? She's fine. She went to the market. Really? You sounded surprised as if you didn't know I was coming. I am surprised. I wasn't expecting you. What do you mean you weren't expecting me? Didn't you get my letters to you through my brother? Letters? No. The last time I saw your brother was December last year. December last year? I don't understand. How about the money I've been sending to you through him? What money? I've never received a dime from your brother. Okay. Come, don't worry. I'm here now, okay? Yeah. I'll make it up to you, alright? Yeah. Okay. Good to see you. Me too. So long a time. Yeah, it's alright. It's alright. <laughs> I thought you had completely forgotten us. Um, I was saying I was never going to see you again. But your brother wrote and told us that you had gone to Bodoibo. Yes, they, I, I didn't plan it that way. It just happened and I had to leave. But I knew I was going to be back sooner than later. Mm, uh, all glory to God that I have seen you again. I thank God too. Um, how is everybody at home? Uh, well, no much problem except the usual hunger. It's okay. Dave. Yes. I was in our father's compound the other day. What I saw there made me weep. The place has been overtaken by weeds. Some parts of the world have started falling in. Yes. Because your brother no longer visits us. And there's nobody to take care of the compound. Deodorfia. I didn't want to say this before, but I have to. I've been sending money today, Eliza, to take care of our father's compound. And to do some other things. I even sent him money to keep for me so that when I come back, I'll start building my own house. The Eliezer has used all the money I sent to him, all of it, for what I do not know. So I plead to you people to please summon him, to explain to you what happened to all the money I sent to him before the hand of a monkey in a pot of soup becomes that of a man. Please. Eliezer spent your money. All of it. How much money was involved? There's so much money. Over four million. Even the one I sent to him to give to you people in the village, he never did. Over four million naira? Yes. You are telling me stories. The all I tell you here today is the truth, the whole truth. If only he knew how I suffered to make that money. Where am I going to start from again? Where? Um, <clears throat> your brother Obon asked us to find out from you what has happened to all the money he sent you that you have not given him any satisfactory explanation. The Kudofia, I do not know what other satisfactory explanation my brother wants me to give him. I have told him everything that happened. But if he won't accept it, then maybe I should tie a rope around my neck and hang myself. No, no, no. Because no. he gave me money it to keep for me. No, God forbid. No. No. Okay. Are you the first one that has ever given someone money to keep for you? You can all hear him. You can all hear my brother. You can hear what he's saying. A man I give money to keep for me. Is it fair? Eliezer, you should do it very gently. It is your brother's money that has been lost here. They, I know. But this thing is about business. And in business, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Okay. I invested his money, but unfortunately I lost it. Do I have to kill myself for him? Dave, I've been thinking since I came back. I've come to a conclusion that my brother does not have conscience. Because if he does, he wouldn't have been deceiving me from the day one to date. He made me believe he has been saving the money I sent to him for me. But in return, he was servicing his family with it. This boy is ungrateful. All the while, I thought I was dealing with a reasonable human being. 
You were rotting in this village when I came here, picked you up and made you somebody. Now you can sit here and tell me that I'm stealing from you? They, I did not call you a thief. No. The problem here is that my brother has been lying to me from day one, and he still continues to lie. You did not send me abroad. I struggled on my own. Yes, you took me to Lagos. The money you spent while I was in your house in Lagos, I have sent you over five times the same amount. I sent him money to keep for me. No account was given for it. He swindled all. Now I am penniless. Where do I go from here? What do I do? Do you know how difficult it has been for me to suffer out there? Have you ever been there before? Do you know how it is? Okay, okay. Two of you have spoken. Sit down, sit down. 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 Now, if water spills, who can collect it again? Nobody. Nobody. Obona, my son, yeah. whatever it is that your brother has done with the money you sent, the fact remains that he has spent the money. Yes. Even if you tie a rope around his leg and drag him around the bell for the next 10 days, you will see the money again. Oh. So forget the past. Okay. Lee, I've heard all you said. But I want you to know that I had plans before I came here. There's a girl that I've been seeing before I traveled abroad. I'd written to her that I was coming back to conclude the arrangement as per our marriage. They knows about it. So what do I do now that I don't have money? What do I do? Obona, you want to get married, Ekwa? That's true. Uh, not the best things I have had all day. <laughs> Uh, don't worry. Something can be done about it. I still have some money left to take care of all that. I want you. I want you. I want you. What brings you here again? I came to thank you for the charm you prepared for me the other time. It worked very, very well. <laughs> eh? And it is still very much effective. <laughs> I told you, the gods I serve can never fail me. Mm. Now tell me your troubles. Mm. And be rest assured that the mountain of your troubles will be leveled before your very eyes, oh. even now, oh. and here now. Oh, my. It is my daughter and her brother-in-law. What about him? I want you to make him a stooge. A stooge. Eh? He just came back from abroad, and he will soon be going back. I want, when he gets back there, I want him to send money and more money to my daughter <laughs> and her husband. <laughs> no. Money, money, and more money. Yeah. <laughs> Is that all? Finish. Okay. What about the liaison? We'll discuss that later. Oh. <clears throat> Consider it done. It doesn't. It at home. Okay. Consider it done. He doesn't eat at home. Hmm? So prepare the charm to be different from the former one. He doesn't eat at home. <laughs> he doesn't eat at home. Where does he eat? Tell me. Where does he eat? Yes. Mm -hmm. Take this charm. Mm -hmm. Put it in his room before he travels to overseas. Hmm? But 
let me warn you. It is only you and your daughter who know about this child. Nobody will see it or know about it. Else, this child becomes ineffective. <coughs> Please give this to the gods. Put it there. Okay. Please thank them for me. No? Tell them that we'll be back. Okay? Yeah. We'll be back when the charm you gave us becomes effective. Oh? Uh, more money. More money and more money. More money. <laughs> money and money. Money and money. Uh... I don't know how you take this, but um, I think it will be wise if you leave Adobe behind. Oh, boy, it's unfortunate the way the money issue went. Um, but you said it to yourself that things are not easy over there, that money is tight. So I, I wonder how you're both going to manage out there. Who we'll manage? After all, I left her for two years, and no letter, no message that I sent got across to her. Oh, boy, why are you reopening old wounds? They have got to be truthful. A wise man falls down the slope once. We might all have made mistakes, but we make mistakes in life so that we can learn from them. I think Uju is right in saying that Adobe should stay behind in the meanwhile. Then, when you finally settle down and things stabilize, you can send for her. Besides, by the time you finish processing her papers, your lectures would have resumed. Ado, what do you think? I want to go with you. I'll think about it. By tomorrow, we'll come out with a better option. Uh, yes, uh, it will be nice if you sleep over it. They are really very tired. Need to cast some rest. Got to be with my wife for a while too. I understand. Excuse us. Excuse us. You see, isn't the trouble over? I told you Obuna wasn't going to kill anybody. Look at what we've got for ourselves. A new house, brand new cars, the best of everything. And yet, he's going back to work for more. Ah. Oh. Eliza is right. If both of us go together, things are going to be rough. Very rough. So I think it's better if I go alone first. I know that in less than a year, I'll have enough money for you to come over. I don't want to stay behind the one now. If I stay, won't what happen the last time repeat itself? No, it won't. It's just that I don't have enough money to open an account for you. But don't worry. The first money I'm going to send to you through the laser. Use it to open an account so I could send money to you directly. It's not the money. It's, it's not the money. I just want to be with you. The past two years without you has been hell. I know. Come, my dear. Come. It's been the same with me too. Especially when my letters to you were never replied. I thought you had decided not to have anything to do with me again. If I knew they were never delivered. But don't worry, okay? I'm going to send everything to you directly now, alright? Okay? Ah, oh, 
are you? Hi, hi, hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you? How was your day? This Lagos traffic is maddening. Whenever you're sitting in the car or just driving, you feel like someone who has been to hell will come back. <laughs> I don't know what it was that took me to Alagbado today. I should have just quietly stayed in the office. I'm sure he must be very hungry. I'm Let sure. me get him something to eat. Okay. Thank you, sister. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I uh, I got a message from your husband today. He said I should greet you and tell you that he arrived safely. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Okay, let me drop your briefcase. Okay. Yeah. Um, Ellie, was that all he said? That he arrived safely? What else do you expect him to say? Didn't he send any money? Would you? The guy just left now. Let him settle down first before he starts working for money. Ellie, there is so much to be done with money in this house. More so with the extra body he left us with, his wife. If you had not been foolish enough to clean out your account, to borrow him money to go and marry a wife. I hope you told him he's going to pay back that money. Sweet you for Mouto, he the sweet you remember, say, I will stay hand for truth. Not true, you the chop money, you the chop money, you the sweet you for Mouto, you the sweet you for Mouto. I told you your brother was only ranting when he came. So he actually saved up all this month. You know what surprised me was that he did not even think about this family. He just instructed that I should give these dollars to his wife. So that she can go and open an account. You would do no such thing. If there's going to be the opening of any account, it will be done by you and you will run it for her. If she begins to handle money now, her head will begin to swell. Well, you'll help me put this in the account tomorrow. Okay. By the way, I, um, I noticed she's been throwing up all over the place. She complained of a fever lately. I think she's pregnant. Then you should take her to the hospital so that she can do some tests. Take her to the hospital? Where's the money? Oh, this one will hardly take care of her family needs. So. She has to manage. At least if she's pregnant, we would know with time. It doesn't hide. Well, whatever you say. And remember, we have to start saving up. The car you left for us is no longer in good shape after your brother used it. We have to get another one. Okay, I have heard you. Mm. Good morning. I was actually going to ask Hudak to come and wake you up. That you're pregnant is not enough reason for you to stay in bed the whole day. We have so much to do in this house. Missy, I'm sorry. You better be. I'm not feeling too well. All I'm saying is that if you want to eat, then you should be ready to work. I'm sorry. I was wondering if I could get some money from you. I need to buy my toiletries. <laughs> my dear, you have to wait. Oh. Because there is no money in this house right now. The other day, my husband was complaining of how difficult things were. 
and that sales in the pharmacy has dropped. I was even advising him to expand the pharmacy so more people will come and buy. But all those things cost money, and that's money we don't have right now. So you have to wait. I said I should put it in the bank. What do we do with it? Thank God we are now thinking. We are not putting any money into any bank. It's time you started putting money together for yourself. You are going to open your own account and we we'll put this money into it. Um, but sister, what if Eliezer finds out? Even if he finds out, he will not do anything. Don't bother yourself. I've told you we are in control of this situation. Look, just get ready. We'll go to the bank. Okay. Obona, I would have given you some romantic moments to remember. But you rejected it. <laughs> you will pay seriously for that insolence. My love has gone away. And I am all alone. Alone in this whole wild world. No one to love and care for me. My heart is beating fast. My life fits so empty. I need to give my love. Was that a boss I just saw you coming down from? Yes, sir. Why? Are there no more taxis running in this town that you have to take a commercial bus? You're pregnant, you know. I didn't have any money for a taxi. Why didn't you say so when I was leaving the house? Or you want your husband to come back now and say no one is taking good care of you? Uncle, that is why I have come to see you. It is Obona. Since the last time he called you and said he had arrived safely, I've not heard anything since then. And it's four months now. I don't think he knows I'm pregnant. I don't have any money to take care of my basic needs and I'm tired of asking auntie for money all the time. My dear, honestly, I don't know, I don't know. You know, sometimes these boys, when they travel overseas, they start behaving strangely. But I'm sure your husband will write as soon as he sorts things out. Uncle, don't you have any address or phone number where I can reach him? He has not secured a new line yet. You know, he had to move house because he couldn't finish paying the mortgage on his old house. So it's the old address that I have. But don't worry. Things so. will be all right. Um. Here. Buy the things you need. Business is a bit tight now. Even the house that I've been developing, I had to stop until things improve. I'll see you at home, okay? Thank you very much, Uncle.
one of my friend is coming home and I will send him across to you. Please help me give him the account number that Adobe opened so that I can send money to her directly. How is she progressing with the pregnancy? Please use the money I have sent and get her a good car. I wouldn't want her to be using public transport now that she is pregnant. Also give her this new address and phone number so that she can at least call me. I would love to speak to her. Owner says one of his friends is coming in next week. Take Adobe to the market and buy her some good clothes. We do not want anybody going back to report to him that she's not being well taken care of. So what is wrong with the ones she has? Are they not good enough? We should do the right thing now. We can afford to get her some good clothes. He also sent some money to get her a car. A car? What for? She's pregnant. She needs to move around. Eh. So I am the one that does not need to move around. Eh? I am the one that doesn't need a new car. Listen, you're going to get us a new car and give her my old one. Simple. see what I can do. There's also some additional money he sent to clear the land where he intends to build his house. But but we can we can use that to complete the roofing of our own house and whatever money he sends next we'll use it to clear the land for him. Good idea. Now oh, you're talking. All right, let's go to bed. It's rather late. <laughs> Thank you, sir. This is my wife, uh, Uju. And this is her sister, Stella. Oh, good evening, madam. Good evening. You're welcome. How's Sweden? Ah, oh, Sweden is fine. It must be very cold there by this time of the year. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> and this is Adobe, Bona's wife. Mm -hmm. Adobe, this is Emeka, your husband's friend. Bona keeps talking about you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you very much. How is he? Ah, God is good. Uh, he's doing tremendously well, I must confess. Mm. He said I should uh, give you this. Oh, really? This one. <laughs> and uh, this is for you. Ah, let's see what is inside it. <laughs> okay. How does he expect you to wear this? Or doesn't he know you're pregnant? I see. Oh, madam. This is for you and the Kenna. Ah, hey, please help me, thank you. Hey. Hmm. I should be on my way now. 
I came straight to deliver these things. Okay. I'll be here tomorrow to take replies to his letters. Uh, won't you at least stay and eat something? No thanks, madam. I had to see my people. I came straight from the hotel. Okay, okay we'll see you tomorrow then. Huh? Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. I do. I'll see you. <laughs> Baby, oh. let's see what's in your bag. Thank God I have this opportunity of talking to you alone. Obu said I should ask how you're doing. Terrible. Things are very rough here. He refused to give me his address or phone number. You mean you did not receive any of the letters he sent you? No. And money too? No. He taught us much. I should give you this. There's a thousand dollars in there. Don't tell anybody about it. Have you registered for your antimental class? No. Why? I asked Uncle Eliza for money, but he said there was no money. It's all right. You have money now. Please make sure you register. Um, please give this to him. Okay. Tell him that I should come back quickly. That things are really bad here. Everything is explained in the letter. It's all right. Don't worry yourself. Everything is going to be all right. Okay? Thank you very I'll much. I'll see you tomorrow. Is this the car? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Sister Stella! Sister Stella! What is it? Come and see. Just come and see. Isn't this beautiful? Isn't this beautiful? This is what I've always wanted. <laughs> I'm going with you. I'm sure. <laughs> uh, my love has gone away. I'm all alone. Alone in this whole wide world. With no one to love and care for me. My heart is beating. My life feels so empty. I need you, my love. I need you right here with me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please come back to me. Please come back to me. Please come back to me, my love. Oh, you know me. Oh, you know me. Oh, oh, oh. Said you wanted to see me. Ujuma. Sister, does your husband know that Obona is around? Obona is around. 
Yes, it's the, what kind of story is this now? Take this. Read it. I picked it from Adobe's room. Adobe is not in her room. The little devil has gone to see Obona. He's been around for the past one week. Jesus Christ, sister. Sister, what do you want to do? Hey! Now listen to me. Okay. I have always told you there's a time to get out. That time is now. So take the most you can and leave. If he's been around for this long and they don't come to this house, that means something is terribly wrong. So let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Yes, come in. And goes in your back. Yes, sir. The statement of account is requested for. Okay. What is this? What, sir? You call this a statement? I don't understand, sir. There is no money here, only the deposit. So the cashier said, she told me that Madame came in yesterday to withdraw all the money. I thought that was why you asked for the statement. <laughs> Madame came yesterday to withdraw all the money? Why? I know you'd be surprised to see me. I came in two days ago. I don't know what to say. Then don't say anything. <laughs> um, is my wife in? I don't think so. I... I saw this in my bedroom. Your bedroom? I think you should read this before you ask any follow-up questions. Understand. Well, it simply explains that your dearly beloved wife with her lovely sister says thank you for being such a lovely, foolish husband. Yes. They have taken off with all your money, which unfortunately you stole from me. I guess they must have seen the letter I sent to Adobe telling her that I'll be coming back. So they decided to grab all they can. If it's any consolation to you, I've ordered for your arrest. Yes. Until you explain to me what has happened to the whole money I send down to you. This house is seized. The pharmaceutical shop will be under lock and key and will remain so until we sort out our whole differences. Well, you've heard your father, my son. That family is not a good one. Nobody puts his hand into the fire with his eyes wide open. 
that is exactly where you are heading to, into the fire. But they let me ask something. What is bad about the Jews' family? Why do we just sit here and condemn people we know nothing about? Eliezer, we know something about them. In fact, we know a lot about them. When you came home here to say that was the girl you wanted to marry, like good parents, we ask questions. They have a history of desertion in that family. Number one, their mother deserted their father before he died. Two, the elder sister is no longer living with her husband. Three, the younger one is never seen at all. You are thinking of going to marry in a house of prostitutes. Mama, you are referring to the family of the girl I want to marry. Look at what you are calling them. <laughs> girl you want to marry. Have we given you the permission to? I do not need anybody's permission to marry anybody. Day, you don't talk like that now, eh? Hmm. Our parents are right on advising us on who we should marry. Good. But Mama, it's not fair for you to talk about somebody you hardly know like that. Huh. It's not fair. I don't care. I don't want to know about anybody. Look, the bottom and the facts that come out of it are the same and one thing. The smell of the family stays the heavens. Papa, did you hear that? Do you hear what Mama is saying? We shall see. The, Papa, I have seen Uchu. I have stayed with her. I think she is a perfect wife for Eliezer. It doesn't matter what her family may look like. Sometimes, good things might come out of a terrible situation. Obona. Papa. All we are trying to prevent is your brother getting to grief. Any mistake in marriage will make a man live in disaster. And such mistakes are normally made at this stage. Papa, I know. I know, but I don't see Eliezer making any mistake. Brother, I see Uju making a good wife for him. Huh? Please let him marry whoever he chooses to marry. <laughs> this dance with disaster. I will see where it's going to end in. For me, I've said my mind. Uh, Mama, where are you? Mama, come now. <laughs> Excuse me, Papa. If they have decided to marry, if they, they marry, they will, they will, they will, they will bear the consequences in the future. I know the family is mine. Hello? Yes. Is that the inspector of police? Oh, thank you very much. Please, uh, you can send in your men now. The suspect is here. Okay, then. Yes, Eliezer. Who is there? Eliezer! You are a criminal, my friend. So you want to continue living in this house without paying anything for it? Anyway, the court has served you a quick notice. Quick notice? Baby, I thought you said you bought this house. Uju has finished me. She gave me the impression all this while that she had been paying the rent. A house that you've not paid for past one year. Adam, please help me hold this. Uh, agent, um, sir, I don't know what to call you. Please, let, let's, let's talk outside. Just mean come on, have a bye. Yeah, 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 yeah
Chop 